Making Tax Digital is a UK government initiative that aims to simplify tax accounting for businesses and individuals. It requires VAT registered businesses with annual VATable sales of over £85,000 to keep their VAT records digitally and to use MTD compatible software to submit their VAT returns. Therefore, you should now keep VAT records and submit VAT returns using compatible software. Our Easy Accounting Spreadsheet products are simply great for this purpose. You simply complete the monthly worksheets to record your accounting data and then use the quarterly VAT worksheets to automatically produce your VAT returns and then submit them to HMRC. This short video will demonstrate this process and serves as a guide to our customers and to potential new users. I think that you will agree that this solution is perfect for small businesses who do not wish to buy expensive and often complicated software just to comply with MTD, but would rather have an easy, low-cost alternative. If you are new to this channel, and you enjoy using spreadsheets, then please do take the time to subscribe to our channel and to receive notifications of upcoming business-related spreadsheet solutions. I hope you enjoy watching. If you are VAT registered, then you must ensure that your VAT registration name and number is recorded on the licensing worksheet. Your name should be the same as shown on your VAT registration certificate and your VAT registration number needs to be entered as a nine digit number with no spaces. Our Easy Accounting Spreadsheets use bridging software to send your VAT details to HMRC. For this purpose, we have partnered with Absolute Accounting Software. So, when setting up your online VAT account, you must ensure that you select Absolute as your provider. If you need further help on registering for VAT and registering for online filing via MTD, then please visit the link as shown on screen. The link is current as of 2023, but it may change. A browser search for HMRC and MTD for VAT should find you the link that you need. We have previously shown how your day-to-day -day VAT transactions are recorded on your monthly worksheets. So now let's examine the process of how your quarterly VAT figures are produced. I have pre-populated months 1, 2 and 3 with some sample data as shown on screen. Firstly month 1 where I have 8 transactions. All of the receipts relate to standard rated sales at 20%. Then we have standard rated material purchases and then non-vatable staff wages. Please note that the VAT rate for this is left as a blank. Then we have reduced rate heating costs and finally standard rate fuel costs. Now navigate to the VAT quarter 1 worksheet. Enter in your VAT quarter start date and your VAT quarter end date. The VAT registered name is already pre-populated. Now place your cursor in the first box immediately to the right of the covering months text. And from the drop down box select month 1. Immediately all the relevant VAT boxes are populated with the salient data extracted from the month one worksheet. It's that simple. Now select the next month by picking up month two from the drop down box. Once again, month two data is collected and added to the month one totals. Finally, select month three from the next drop down box. And that's it. Your quarterly VAT data 
as shown on your monthly worksheets, has been aggregated correctly and should be ready to submit to HMRC. Exceptionally, there may be occasions when you need to make adjustments to your VAT return. To do this, make your appropriate adjustments by using the Adjustments column to record these. If your VAT quarters do not correspond with your accounting year, then you may need to record prior month's VAT values in the Old Amounts Bought Forward column. This process is covered in detail on the Notes tab. Now that you have finalised your VAT returns for the quarter, then you will need to submit it to HMRC. This is a two-stage operation. The first stage is to click on the Create MTD file for Quarter 1 button. This saves the VAT data in a secure location within the Accounts file. Then, all you need to do is to do a Save As of the Accounts file and give it a new name, like Accounts for VAT March 23, and save this in a trusted location. And now close the Accounts file. Begin the second stage by opening up the VAT filer program already supplied. This file should open up on the data link worksheet. Navigate to cell O2 and click on the Link Import Sheet button. In the Open File dialog box that opens, navigate to the Accounts file that you have just saved and closed. Your quarterly VAT data is retrieved from the Saved Accounts file and is shown on Line 2 of the Data Link Worksheet. Check that all the details are correct and once you are satisfied with the figures then click on the submit button in cell P2. This worksheet displays your completed VAT return. Now simply enter your VAT filer username and your VAT filer password in the yellow boxes and click on the submit VAT return button. The VAT filer program will communicate with HMRC and then submit your data. You will receive a confirmation once the process is complete. Please do take a copy for your records. And that's it. Your VAT records for the quarter have been successfully filed. We do hope that you found the contents of this presentation both useful and informative. Now, this video is one of four presentations that we use as a support tool for our Easy Accounting Spreadsheet products. The four videos are, firstly, how to create trusted locations and store files that use Excel macros. Secondly, how to use Excel's filtering tool to examine your spreadsheet data. Then, how to use spreadsheets to keep your monthly accounting records. And finally, Making Tax Digital – How to Use Spreadsheets to Collect and Submit Your VAT You can view these videos by following the links in the description section below. And finally, please do take the time to subscribe to our channel. Thank you once again for watching. If you like the idea of keeping your accounting and bookkeeping records in Excel, then why not view our promotional videos for the Easy Accounting Spreadsheet products? The first is how to keep your accounts using a spreadsheet. And the second is how to keep your accounts in Excel, a guide for small businesses.